begin with the countdown to the Fed beginning its two-day meeting tomorrow amid great expectations that it will, at the very least, lay the groundwork for an interest rate cut in July. Stocks rising over the past two weeks on those very hopes. Jim Cramer, I'm, I've made you the chairman of the investment <laughs> oh, committee you. today. Thank you so much. Welcome. Steve here may again. not be fair. <laughs> I, I, I've, made, I've given you that title. Happy to follow. Is, <laughs> is it all about that? This is all about the Fed. I want to see uh, monitoring, vigilance, cognizant, concerned. I get any of those words in the statement, bingo, the rally oh, continues. So you don't want to see patience because they're saying that's the word no, that that's going to come out. No, I need vigilance, cognizant, concerned. I don't want patience. Patience could mean that we have wait till September. We just mm. want. Jim, did you say monitoring also? I love monitoring. Okay, because that may be where you get to, but I'm, I just want to know. Oh, no, I really want list. monitoring. So uh, you get yeah, the. But in other words, it is about this because. If it's we all get about those, that, right? If we get those words, then we're fine. You get the New York manufacturing read today. It posted the largest monthly decline on record. Now, I wonder if that seals the deal. Well, I think you got new core. I know that they don't, look, they don't look that granularly, but I think it does matter. I think that the rails, I have Union Pacific tomorrow. This piece, Bernstein, I thought it was electric in terms of saying the slowdown is here. Uh, against that, we've got a couple of companies that are having good numbers like RH, not big enough. Well, that's because manufacturing has been horrible all year long, so this shouldn't really be a surprise. And you had Mexico and the issues with Mexico. Right. So industrial part of the economy, not good. New orders in all the ISMs, production across the board, inventory is not good. On the flip side, consumer, good. I know. Consumer so retail good. sales. All right, so what do you do with that? I mean, that. this is like from a business standpoint, this is like going cliff diving and hitting the rock. Ooh. You don't even get in the water. This was ugly. Well, I mean, again, manufacturing is 12% of U.S. GDP, consumer 70%. So you want consumer to do fine, and they are doing fine, and you're running after that retail sales number. Jim. No, I'm you're running at about enough. a 2% GDP. That's why I want monitor. So so do, you need, because do, you need a, do you need a cut or not? I think Does you Stephanie need, Link need a cut or not? I think you need language to show that they are considering it. Once again, I'm all right with I just totally agree with her. I'm, I'm, I'm all right with patient. I mean, I would like your words better. But My words fine. are really good. The fact that they even come to the table and say <laughs> that they're willing to consider after where we were back in you know, oh. last year, mm -hmm. it's a really big amount of progress that they've made. So I think that that's a really big deal. Yes, but so, we're not out of the woods because we've got to get through trades. So yes. And then trade and then we'll get figure it out. at the very least, that's what the Fed needs to, to say this week? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and that's what everybody's waiting for, I right? Mean, that's I mean, why that, you're, that's what they're primed you're up for 5 right now. in right. June on hopes and expectations, there is a, now great expectations that they're going to do that. When you consider everything that's been going on around outside of us and you start looking at the market and these, these rallies that we get off of some of these lows and all the rest of it, I think a lot of that is triggered by the idea that, you know what? The Fed is still somewhere there. The Fed is there for us, and they're looking for a cut, and it's about the words. What are the words going to actually be? How aggressive will they be? Will they be as aggressive as you, or are they going to talk about patience? Either way, I think it, it, it explains to us what they're really looking they at. better Scott. not use the word patience, or the market is going to not like that. Don't you think? Mm. Patience means, well, we'll see. I know, that's come we see, need more than that. The right. market's gone way up. We don't on, want to cut more than that, and we don't want patience. We it, want monitor. We you want don't, you don't want anything that's perceived to be hawkish, especially you've oh, got God. the B, the, but oh, you've God, got the no. BOJ, you've got the Bank of England, and the concern is the rest of the world. What's the rest of the world doing? You can make an argument based on where asset prices are right now that the Federal Reserve should do nothing. Okay, but it's the rest of the world. It's the notion that synchronized global growth peaked in January of 2018. You can make the argument we're in a bear market related to synchronized global growth. And what the rest of the world is doing is impacting what's going on with our currency here. And that's where you have to have some concern. So, Leisman, the, the big thought is that if they do sort of set the table for um, a move in July, it changes basically the way we need to think about the Fed. It becomes a preemptive uh, it, it, organization rather than a more reactive to what current conditions are. Current conditions, oh. as Steph said, mm -hmm. and as Jim said, don't necessarily call for a cut right now, like the urgency that some people are feeling. So it, it's really interesting for me to hear uh, Jim's take because there's still a little bit of wiggle room if they go monitor. Okay, so th th there are a couple things that happened between the June meeting and the July meeting. There's a G20 meeting. But there's a July employment report. Mm -hmm. There's a whole nother month's worth of data giving us the last month of the quarter. Um, and I think if those things begin to show the weakness, that's when I think but. they go. And I'm entertaining a new idea here, which is the go big or go home cut. <laughs>
Go big or go home. So you're looking for 50? Oh, you go 50. Wow. Huh. This is a report from wow. Bill Nelson, a very good staffer who used to work at the Fed. Used to work at the Fed 50 in July. 50 in July. 50 and pause. something's really wrong that I don't know. Well, well, well okay, Jim. Now, this is really interesting because I, I, I bring this up because I want your opinion on this. Okay. The idea is the Fed does not want to create concern by cutting. So the idea of Bill Nelson here is cut 50 and tell them we are on a pause. That it's not the beginning of a rate cut cycle. It's an adjustment to ward off or be or, or respond to the weakness. And then they say, you know what? We're on hold for a while here okay. until we see how this works.